one of the virtues of Ramadan is that it brings us back to remembering the things that we should be fasting from all throughout the year, right? The uh, refraining or the abstaining from food and from drink, it's, um, it's directing our intention to these kinds of sensory inputs that we have. We start thinking about our eyes and what we're looking at. We start thinking about our ears and the things that we're listening to our mouths, our speech. And it, so it reminds us that, yeah, throughout the whole year, not just in Ramadan, you're supposed to be fasting with the eyes, right? You're not supposed to look at every single thing that's out there. You're not supposed to look at the opposite sex in a lustful way. You're supposed to guard your sight, lower your gaze, men and women. Right? You're not supposed to be um, looking at things that are going to harm your soul. And everything that comes into your sight, you have to be putting it through this filter of, is this thing good for my soul or not? The same thing with the things that you say. It's often we're just talking out the neck, so to speak. We're saying anything that comes to our, our minds. And the process of depriving yourself from food and becoming kind of quiet and becoming a little bit weak and turning a little bit inward is supposed to make us think that thing that I'm about to say, do I really need to say it? Is it going to hurt somebody else's feelings? Is it the most considerable or considerate or thoughtful thing to say at this point? Right? It makes us think. And the same thing with our ears and what we listen to. Right? Are we listening to gossip? Are we listening to false speech, insults, lies? All these sorts of things, the fast is meant to draw our attention to everything coming in and everything going out of our bodies. And it's supposed to bring us back to remembering the things that we should be fasting from all throughout the year.